So today we will be talking about my bike and freestyle setups. I will show you all my bike, which parts I changed to it. What's the difference between a motocross and a freestyle bike? It's a Kawasaki KX450F, so 4 stroke, 450cc engine, has about 55 horsepower. Let's start with the most important parts. So this is a normal motocross seat and this is a freestyle seat. So the freestyle seat is like 15 cents smaller because I cut the foam off and just put the seat cover back. So then I'm able to grab my bike better with doing the holes in my rear plastic so I can grab it and hang after the bike and do different variables of seat grabs. Because it's winter time we have some special made Mita spike tires down here. Got 274 spikes, they are handmade, so it grips good on, on a rubber mat. So I'm able to run right in winter time too, so that's perfect. For next, we change the normal motocross bars to fat bars. So it's 28 millimeters and it's super high bent. It's getting better position for the body because you're actually not sitting on the seat because it's so low. So you're just standing up and it holds your body better up. Then when you go up here, mounted in the bars we have flip levers. These levers you use to do backflip tricks and tsunamis and rulers. The bike rotates, you can swing yourself back with holding you against them and then just swing back on the bike. So that's how, then we just put them down when we don't need them. So it's used at like to super flips and heel clicker flips, everything you need to get back on the bike when it's rotating. This is a part which you don't use to see in motocross bikes because it makes the steering super stiff. It's a GPR steering stabilizer. I used to run on one and when I do flip tricks and have to leave my hands from the bars, I just put it on eight. That's something you really need in freestyle nowadays when the tricks are going upside down and to side and everything. So you can hold the, the bar still straight when you leave the bars. Still the most important part is the suspension because it's doing all the work when you hit the big ramp and the big landing. So with basic motocross suspension would be, would be impossible to land good without breaking the bike. So they are super stiff. Also the, the rear suspension is super stiff, so it takes the hard, hard landing and impacts. For having a good grip, you used to put this grip tape, it's the same cover as in skateboards and stuff like this, so you don't slip with your hands if it's wet or something. The engine is totally normal, it's a stock one, but I used to have a FMF pipe, just, just the slip on because it gives a little bit more power on the ramp. And then I used to change the 52 sprocket. The stock one is 50, so it's just too bigger. But yeah, actually that's everything. So actually there is a big difference. Bike is same, but the setups are, setups and parts are different. Hope you like this video, subscribe the channel, and see you next time. Finally, I will test a real sauna because every time that Seb came to Spain, is like, uh, this is not a real sauna, so put me into a real sauna. Oh. <gasps> oh. Good job, Mark. Oh. Oh.